Today we're going to look at how to utilize procedural fill to symbolize our 3D objects in ArcGIS Pro. We'll start by selecting the layer of interest, which is the building's layer. We'll right click to select the symbology, which opens up our symbology pane. You'll realize our buildings are symbolized based on the use type that is in each building and we are going to change the use type for transportation to use a procedural fill. To do that, we'll select the transportation symbology, which is this color here. And this opens up our symbology pane that has the options to change uh, the symbol that is being used, but also the properties. We want to configure the properties, so we'll click on properties. Here we can interact with not only the symbol pane, but also the layers tab. So we are going to click on layers and you'll realize we currently are using a solid fill. So we want to change this from a solid fill into a procedural fill. We'll click on the down arrow to select procedural fill. After doing this, the next step is to assign a rule and rules can be saved in folders within your project, which we want to utilize one that is already pre-saved. So we'll click on rule and then we'll identify the folder that our rule is hosted in, which is under the rule packages. So we'll click on the rule and click OK and then apply. If there's anything that you want to configure or change, you can change that here. But because there's nothing we want to change in this instance, we're going to click apply and let it run. Once complete, you'll have a whole um, color change within your symbology and the use type is going to change from what it was which was a solid fill into one that accepts the procedural fill rule that has been used. Thank you and see you next time.